How's it guys? Ken Kopp and Rudy Wilcox over here, your MCs for the day. We just want to start off by welcoming you to the Open Workout 22.3, hosted and tested by Super Trophy. We are ecstatic about today's event. I mean, we've got the future of this sport throwing it down today. Carl and Regan, and it's definitely going to be a workout you don't want to miss. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors for the day. We got Endurade, Nutritech, Division, and Gorilla Sports. And Rudy, take us into the workout. All right, guys, uh, awesome workout today. We've got uh, 22.3, it's four time, 21 pull ups, 42 double unders, 21 thrusters, then we bring it down to 18 chest to bars, 36 double unders, 18 thrusters, and then 15 bar muscle ups, 30 double unders, and 15 thrusters. The thrusters get heavier as you go, and that's four time with a 12 minute time cap. Sure. Definitely going to be an exciting workout to watch. A lot of work that needs to get done, but I'm sure that these juniors are really going to bring it today. So let's stay tuned and let's check it out. Hi Regan, how Hi. are you doing? Good, thanks and you. How's the body after two opens? I'm uh, feeling pretty good. Awesome, and yeah. how's it going as planned? Uh, I don't know, I'm not looking at the leaderboard. Okay, that's awesome. Pretty Something well. new. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling about the gymnastics today? Excited? Uh, yeah, this is probably my, the one I'm most looking forward to out of all three of them. And thrusters, you love a heavy barbell? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Go smash it. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> hey, Carl. Welcome. What's up? Hi, how are you feeling? Good. I'm feeling, yeah, I'm feeling good. Okay, and the open so far, do you know your leader, your scores? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, I'm pretty happy so far. Going okay. to 17 now, I'm very happy. That's awesome. And 22.3, are you excited for this one? Yeah, uh, we do this, these type of words quite a lot, so I'm feeling ready for it. So. Okay, awesome. Any game plan, strategy? Are you going uh, unbroken? I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it up, definitely. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, definitely breaking up all the movements, so okay. that's what I'm going through. Let's see how it goes. Good luck. Thank you. Pleasure. All right, guys, we are ready to get these guys going. Five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Right, Kane, so I um, don't know if you've done this workout or if you're still doing it, but uh, it's nice to see some gymnastics. Uh, sure, these guys have been looking forward to the gymnastics over the three weekends. Yeah, I think um, they mentioned earlier that they've both been spending a lot of time doing a lot of wads like this. Um, so I think they're definitely prepped for it. I myself haven't done the workout just yet. Not looking forward to it, but I uh, guess the job's going to get done. You know how it goes, eh? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually quite looking forward to it as well. It's not like a super skilled workout to start with, but as you go through the rounds, that uh, gymnastics do get a little bit more skill. Uh, we'll also see how the guys break it up. Um, they're starting with pull-ups into double-unders, into thrusters. Then uh, the gymnastics become chest bars. Uh, Double unders, the thrust is a little bit heavier, and then uh, the last round, bar muscle ups, going into the double unders, and then even heavier thrusters, and the repetitions get less every round. Yeah, I think uh, this is definitely going to be very strenuous on all areas of the body. There's a lot of reps that they need to get through, and um, yeah, I think the, the main aim for this one is just going to be to keep moving and find a good pace to keep on moving and uh, they also mentioned that they're going to be breaking it up quite a bit which I think is probably the best way to go into it. Um, yeah, let's, let's see how they go. They look fairly smooth at the moment. I know that we're only one and a half minutes in and uh, there's still some time on that clock so let's, let's hope that they can stick to what they say and uh, find a good pace that they can continue to work through. They currently on their thrusters. The first round uh, for Cole, he's got 43 pages on the bar. And for Regan, it's 30 kilos. So this bar's still relatively light for them. Uh, but you can see they definitely went in with a good plan, not uh, smashing themselves too early. Because uh, once their heart rate's up, they can't really get their heart rate down very quickly. Exactly, especially with all the work that they need to get through. There's not going to be really time for rest with this one. Um, yeah, I mean, the ages of these athletes, I mean, right in front of us we're looking at the future of the sport. Um, this is basically what what the best of the youth should be looking like. Yeah, uh, Cole finished, uh, you can see the number on his back is 001. He finished first in his uh, age category last year. And then Regan, uh, she actually finished top 10 at Fittus in Cape Town. Uh, she's finished 23rd in the Open. 
Rosh's, uh, she's only 19, Cole's 16. Really looking forward to seeing what these guys bring uh, in the years to come. Mm, yeah, no, that's, that's for sure. Um, I mean, these two, um, I mean, if we look at the whole, the whole group that they got, the way that they train together, socialize together, they've got such a strong community and uh, they all just feed off each other's energy, feed off each other's sort of passion for taking this sport to the next level. And um, yeah, I spoke to Carl and he mentioned that it's so great to have a community like this. It really makes the difference when it comes to putting in the difficult hours, you know, the difference making workouts. And uh, yeah, it's, it's great to see them both participating here today together. Um, I know they mentioned they were super excited to go into this thing together over here um, as it would just be like another one where they're both putting in all that effort together, you know. You see uh, Carl opting for keeping chest to bars, obviously at grip is uh, already getting the better of him. Uh, Regan, a little bit ahead of him, just finishing double unders, and into a second round of thrusters at 34 kilos. So the boss definitely uh, gonna start playing a role now. She's got 18 passes on her plate. Cole uh, busy with his double unders on the second round. And it's going to be 26. And he goes to his thrusters at 52. Uh, that second round of thrusters definitely start playing a major role now. You can see Regan taking a bit of a breather. Just over about four minutes 50 in. Yeah, I think uh, they're moving quite well for time. Uh, the reps are still looking smooth, however, I can see that uh, they're definitely feeling it by now already. Um, I just hope they're keeping a little bit of an eye on that clock to notice that they've still got some time. They can uh, slow down a little bit and not burn out. But um, I'm pretty sure that these two, these two juniors have really been putting in so much work. They're, they're ready for this time cap. And um, they've, I think they're, they're quite used to saving a bit of the tank, you know, so that they can just let go at that end, you know. We uh, watched uh, the Lada Nantes last night, and it was uh, like average gym going against the top in the world, and um, you quickly see how that last uh, round takes so much of the time, so uh, they definitely want to save some time for that last round. Uh, the ball muscle ups definitely going to take a little bit more uh, chunks out of your time, uh, not as big as sets. Regan just moving to a bar muscle ups now. Cole finishing up that last thrusters. Yeah, I think it would have been a, a different ball game swapping these uh, sort of movements and reps around. Um, so I think uh, they're definitely going to feel fatigue. I mean, Regan looks like she's moving quite smoothly through those through those bar muscle ups, but as you can see, as she drops, they're definitely feeling a bit fatigued. Um, but um, yeah, still looking good, still looking smooth. Um, Carl battling a little bit. There we go, still pushing through. Yeah, I mean, for 16 year old 52 kgs, it's also not light. Um, it's almost relative to me uh, doing thrusts at 70, and uh, that's definitely no joke. See Regan um, resting at the top, it's almost through about 10 of them. Uh, the bar muscle up is 15 reps. Moving beautifully, no chicken wing, really smashing those bar muscle ups. This will be a large rig work. I'll almost finish one of those thrusters. The last barbell should be very interesting. Yeah, definitely. I think that's when you can see uh, that if someone spends a lot of time on the gymnastics when you see them take a rest at the top of the bar, you know, instead of. Um, trying to get your rest at the bottom. That way you can still save a bit of momentum on that bottom swing. Uh, Regan finishing up almost her bar muscle ups. Oh, she is finished, going over to a double on this. Seven minutes in guys, they've got about five minutes to go. Um, Cole almost done with this thrust this. You can see he's uh, Judge uh, Justin. Justin uh, is also very accomplished athlete. I saw a photo in this week of the two of them five years ago. Nicole was only 11 where he started and uh, he's an absolute unit now. Yeah, I must say it must be quite a, quite a blessing and uh, quite an exciting experience to be part of sort of this level of development. I mean, Carl's been performing over the last couple of years and has now started to reach that category where 
he's gonna see the difference in his future career in the sport, you know. And um, how awesome must that be for Justin to see? I mean, spending all those years, all that time grooming Carl, and uh, now seeing him really put in the work to make it for himself, you know. And uh, guys, really cheering them on here. Regan finishing that last set of thrusters, making them look very light. And Carl's got one or two reps left. Moving over to his bar muscle ups now. Also saw him warm up and his bar muscle ups look good, but it's a different story when you're eight minutes into a workout, taking a sip of his enduro sport. While wow, Regan's really finishing strong, hey, there we go. Solid performance. I think it was about 8.27 unofficial. Solid work, Regan. Incredible. Now it's all on call. Just getting a bit of a breather before he tackles those bar muscle ups. Oh, dude. Nice, Regan. There we go. Three reps. Got 15 bar muscle ups here. Still, it looks good on the bar, but you can see uh, the energy is uh, drained. Got about three minutes to go. Sure, you can get through these bar muscle ups yeah, I'm sure. in these sets of three or four. That's it. Looks like he's still got quite a bit left in the tank. Um, obviously, he's tired. He's a bit fatigued. It's a lot of movement he's getting through, and it's a lot of reps. Um, but uh, yeah, I think if you can just focus on getting those reps done, small portion for portion, you'll definitely make it through this before the time cap. Yeah, so once you get through those bar muscle ups, it's easy repetitions after that for those double unders. So I think uh, the gap in the leaderboard is going to definitely play a role there. The guys get to 13 or 14 bar muscle ups, and that guys will just get through and get a couple of double unders in. It's got two minutes. So Regan's still recovering, trying to cheer him on. Like I said uh, last week, when his shoes kick off, you know exactly how that athlete's feeling because we've all been down that road. And uh, it's great to see her there on the mats, trying to recover and still in support of her partner over there. I, um, I've uh, followed them a little bit lately, got to see uh, their journey, and uh, you can really see that from a very tight bond. Uh, they have that cross it. Very cool to see. That's it. That's awesome. It's about 90 seconds to go for him. He gets through these. Can get a good couple of double unders. Yeah, there we go. He thought he was done. I think he's got three more. Let's go, Justin, That's pushing it. him hard from the side over there. Yeah. Nice call. Just Let's go, one more rep. He's got one more rep and then he's straight into those double unders. Get you those thrusters still. But 50 double unders after this. There we go. And he's done. All uh, want to cheer him on, but we all know how it feels to be in that dark place. You don't want to do anything. Gasping for a bit of air just to keep on moving. Double under still looking smooth. I'm sure he'll get to those thrusters. 40 seconds. Let's go. Come on, Carl. Let's go. Let's go. Last 30 seconds. Time to empty the tank. Let's go, Carl. It's quite a Let's finish those double hunters. That's it. Should get a couple of thrusters. It was obviously at 61 now. It's going to be challenging. I think it's going to be. Do about one or two reps at a time. He's got his team there pushing him from the side. There's no drive like that, eh? One rep in, and you'll be happy with that. Well done. Oh, nice performance. Gee whiz, that was exciting to watch. Only 16 years old. I uh, can only hope I get that far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, already. Uh, so can I. Yeah. Yeah, so it's impressive getting through all those bar muscle ups. Uh, the gymnastics has been about 45 to 50 repetitions, which is uh, very grip intensive. Those double unders pushing your heart rate up. And then those uh, nice weighted thrusters, everyone's favorite movement. Yeah, just to put a little bit more tax on their shoulders. Um, but um, Regan really did a while there, eh? She really pushed through that workout. 
Um, I still expected a little bit of a break somewhere in between one of the one of the sets, and uh, just she just didn't stop. All right, guys. Firstly, well done on an uh, awesome uh, workout. Was the workout what you guys expected? Yeah. De yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Definitely what I expected. Yeah. A little bit harder, actually. Okay. The, yeah. I saw you obviously got stuck a little bit on the thrusters. That ball yeah. probably got heavy very yeah, quickly. Yeah, thrusters definitely got heavy quite quickly, especially in the second round. Yeah, Felt middle round. Yeah. And uh, uh, you obviously finished in an awesome time. You are happy with the time? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Will you, uh, you guys looking at repeating? Or? Oh no, we haven't, we're not gonna, we haven't repeated any other workouts. Okay. I will be repeating. Oh yes, he's, he's okay. repeating. Chris told me once I finished, I'll be repeating, so <laughs> that's what the... The goal's obviously to finish. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so you'll go into a bit of a different strategy if you do it again? Yes, probably smaller sets. Okay. Definitely smaller sets, um, just to make it feel a little bit easier. Because on the second round, I was dead already, so. It's not good. Okay. Yeah, but it was still a, look, a great performance by the both of you guys. I mean, it looked a lot smoother than it probably felt a lot of the times. Um, no, from our perspective now. Um, with you guys having a bit of a weekend off now and going straight into the quarters, what does that sort of preparation area look like for you guys? How are you planning the next week or so? Um, I'm pretty sure Chris will have different programming for the quarterfinal athletes. Cool. Yeah, we so, yeah. We've been training throughout the Open okay. for like quarterfinals, semifinals. Okay. So we'll probably do like a prep weekend before. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. That's great. Guys, yo, well, uh, well done, and uh, best of luck for the season ahead. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank 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 you. Thank